Charlie, five years old, comes to McMeckin to live with Uncle Bill and Aunt Glenna and Cousin Joanne. First day of school, a teacher picks on him, and he runs back to their house crying. McMeckin is the kind of community where boys don't do that. And Uncle Bill decided he was going to teach this kid a lesson, and on the second day of school, he took uh, one of Joanne's dresses out of the closet, put it on Charlie, and made him wear it to school. Yes, that part did happen. And it was an awful thing to do to a child. The part of the story we don't hear is that a week later, Manson talked some of the girls in his first grade class into beating up a boy that he didn't like. And when he was taken to the principal's office, his defense was the girls were just doing what they wanted to do. It wasn't his responsibility. You may recognize that as the same defense he offered for the Tate LaBianca murders 30 years later. He made his first violent attack on someone at age seven when he took a razor sharp sickle and tried to kill his cousin Joanne. When his mother got out of prison, she did not try to get rid of her son. She loved him dearly, but he was a chronic uh, cutter of school. Uh, she got a job in, as a grocery store clerk and Charlie would come in and shoplift. He would hustle money from customers at the store. Uh, even as a 10 year old, he was increasingly violent. And after counseling with her mother, with her sister, with the teachers, it was decided Charlie probably should be in some boys school where there would be a little more discipline enforced and rules for him to follow. Uh, Charlie, in a very open school environment, uh, the first place that he went, uh, immediately began running away, committing different criminal acts. The picture on the cover of the book, uh, Charlie's 13 years old there. Uh, he's just been uh, picked up for armed robbery and is coming before a judge that day in Indiana. Uh, Charlie, who uh, was technically a member of the Church of the Nazarene, convinced the judge that he was a Catholic and that the judge should send him to Boys Town rather than a reformatory. Charlie went to Boys Town. Three days later, he stole a priest's car and headed for the West Coast. They caught him somewhere in Utah. He wasn't changing ever. He did not evolve into something. This is who he was. And every time he was released from prison, he went back to it. 